guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are watching me again. So for today's video, as you can already tell from the title, I am going to be doing a little bit of a hamster taming diary. So I actually first saw this video done by a YouTuber called Erin's Animals and what she pretty much did was just filmed the process of her taming her hamster. And I thought that that was a really good idea since if you watched me last week, you saw that I just rescued my new hamster. So this video is pretty much just going to be me going through the taming process and seeing his progression throughout the weeks. And we're just gonna be seeing how much time it takes me to tame him and how to tame your hamster. So hopefully this video will give you guys a good idea of how to tame your hamster and how long it will take. So before we actually get into the taming, which I know I keep saying this, I just want to tell you guys kind of his schedule of how he wakes up. So typically he wakes up around 9.30 every night and I kind of just try to give him a couple of treats. I've been really working on just getting him to get used to my hands being in the cage since I have had him for less than a week. I don't want to do anything too stressful on him yet. I'm kind of just, like I said, getting him used to seeing my hands in the cage. And he has taken treats from me, which is a really, really good step. We're just going to continue working on that for the next few days to see what he does. Yeah, that is pretty much the plan. So anyways, this has been way too much talking for this video. Let's go ahead and get on to the actual taming. So currently it is about 8.50 right now and this is just what his cage looks like. And currently he just came out and he just got some food, which is kind of his normal routine. I'm kind of trying to just coax him out of his little hide with some treats. And I actually just gave him a treat and he took it from my fingers. So I think he's getting really comfortable with that. So that's really good. I'm going to now be trying to attempt to give him some food off my hand. I did do this the other day, so hopefully he stays comfortable with it and doesn't bite me or anything. Well, he took it, but he didn't do anything with it. So I'm gonna keep trying. So it is the next morning and he is once again out. I actually just put my hands in and I gave him a bunch of seeds and stuff. And he's been doing really, really nicely about just like coming over and sniffing my hands and he hasn't bitten me or anything. So that's really, really good so far. Gosh, you guys, I cannot believe what I just did. I just picked him up for the very first time. You guys can see his cheek pouches are so full because I've been giving him a lot of treats but don't worry a lot of them have been healthy treats what I pretty much did was I took a little piece of millet like one of these little spries and I kind of just led him over to my hand and then whenever he was eating it I picked him up so I'm going to attempt to video this sorry that this angle kind of sucks but we are going to attempt to give him maybe one more treat because I don't want to give him too too many but honestly, treats are super important in the taming process. And y'all see, he's coming right over to the glass because he knows that I'm going to give him a treat. Over, nope, nope. Over to my hand. Take the tree. Take the tree. Oh. Ow. Ow. He just bit me. That hurt. Hey guys, and welcome back to taming day number uh like six five or six now so this is the night after 
the morning of which I just got bin. He's just kind of chilling. I just actually discovered him over here sleeping behind his wheel. He was literally sleeping upright behind his wheel. It was the weirdest thing ever, but it turns out he was just sleeping, so that's good. I'm gonna make sure that my hands do not smell like any of his food or anything. Yeah, first things first, we're just gonna start off by giving him some treats, I think. I have some peas here right now, so I think that's what I'm going to start off by giving him. I'm gonna give him one pea to start. Hey guys, so it is several days later. I believe the last time I updated you guys was about day five or six, so it was quite a while ago. Today is day 20, so tomorrow will be three weeks that I have had Rhino, and I thought that I would just update you guys because I have not filmed since then. Because honestly, I did not think that I was still gonna be filming this video. I kind of like gave up on this whole Taming Diaries idea, but I was just now looking back at the footage and I was like, you know what? I should really continue this to show you guys my real experience with taming so far because I feel like a lot of YouTubers only make taming videos after they have tamed their hamster and so a lot of people watching cannot see the whole process that people actually have to go through in order to tame their hamster and sometimes I feel like especially me I got a false sense of how easy it would be to tame my hamster because it is not an overnight process that is for sure it definitely takes a lot of hard work Every single day you gotta get up and you got to really work and bond with your hamster and like I said it will definitely not happen overnight. But anyways, besides from that little rant, I thought that I would just give you guys a little bit of an update on how Rhino is doing. Ever since I stopped filming, he has gotten so much better with taking food from my hands. I'll try to insert a couple of clips here and there because I know that I do have a couple of videos or pictures of him eating off of my hands. So he's been getting super comfortable with that. And I believe after week two of just kind of doing that and kind of just getting him used to eating off of my hands and he's been getting really good with that. He almost always just comes over and eats right off of them now and he even puts his little paws on there. So after about week two, I started doing bathtub bonding sessions with him every single morning um, and this was really great because we can really bond and he can really get um, more used to kind of just crawling on me and also to my hands But what I've been doing is I've been putting food on my hands and then whenever he comes over to eat my food or eat the food on the hand, I kind of, with my other hand, I almost like scoop up under his butt and I kind of just hold him like that as he eats so that he can kind of get in the feel of what it is like being picked up by a hand. And that has been really good. I would definitely suggest that and I will definitely show you guys some clips of me doing that. And this really just gets your hamster used to being held, but also like they're not solely focused on you because they are, they are eating. And I'm not even scared of being bit at this point, knock on wood, because he has not bit me since that day that I showed you guys a while ago. And besides from that, I've also just been working with Rhino as just like putting my hands down whenever I'm in the bathtub so he can kind of run over them. And he definitely has a, while, a long way to go with just getting comfortable with them. Hopefully in the next few days, we can get more comfortable. He can get more comfortable with just like used to seeing my hands as just something he can run over and he doesn't have to be scared or jump over them or anything because he definitely is not willingly going onto my hands yet and that we will continue working on. I definitely notice, um, I'm sorry this clip is going to be so long, but I definitely notice that he is so much more willing to do taming sessions with me and kind of be picked up and played with in the morning and not at night. So I know that might be different for some hamsters, but that is pretty much what I have been doing every night. I just give him some food and then in the morning we do our little bathtub bonding session. Like I said, tomorrow morning I will be showing you guys me doing that to kind of add to this taming diary.
So one thing that you can do to get your hamster used to your hands is sort of make a blockade and see if your hamster will walk over it. As you can see, he is kind of jumping over it and he's not super comfortable just walking over my hands yet, but just try to work on that with them. you guys so currently he's very active and he really just kind of wants to play or wants some food so I am going to give him some treats right now you guys can see there's no problem or hesitation sorry about the camera so he's just eating off my hand which is really great I love to see this and we are slowly but surely moving on to the next step which is holding him um, it's definitely going to take a little bit longer than this step, I think, um, but hopefully soon enough he will be able to be held. By the way, this is his cage setup I haven't shown you guys. This is where he sleeps, which I have put a lot more bedding. Um, sorry, I know that doesn't look like a lot, but there's at least five inches there. And then we have the, this big tube, which sometimes I like to cover almost as if it's like underground for him. And he likes to like eat in there as well. And then I just moved the food dish over there. It was over here. Then his wheel and a sand bit bath, which he loves. He loves the sand bath so much. He always kicks out so much of the sand. Um, I am gonna be trying to give him like a bigger sand bath though in the future. He's currently eating his onesies chew, which he has put into that tube. That's kind of the update, guys. So as you guys can see from looking at the dates, I'm kind of just doing the same thing over and over again with Rhino. I'm kind of taking a treat and leading him onto my hands, and I just do this over and over again to try and entice him onto my hands to see that I am not a threat and I'm really just here to give him treats and I'm not here to scare him or spook him. Um, I'm constantly just lying my hands down in the um, playpen so that he's used to it. And as you guys can probably tell from this video, you will need a lot of treats. And every time that he sits on my hands, I kind of scoop him up and I kind of get that into a routine so that he knows that it's not scary and he is just kind of getting used to that. And every time he kind of goes further and further onto my hands and that's really, really great. So another exercise that you can do is just leave your hands like I am outside of the little upside down hideout that you have in there. And so it kind of forces your hamster to either walk on your hand or jump out the other side. As you can see, very many times he just jumped out the other side because he did not want to jump onto my hands. But, you know, sometimes he does actually go onto my hands, which is a really, really good sign. So it is several days later since I did the last taming session and I actually just cleaned Rhino's cage so I just had him in here running around. In the meantime, I'm just going to do a little taming session with him. So this is the first time that I've ever done a taming session with him where I'm not actually sitting in the bathtub. I'm just currently getting some treats and I actually just bought this huge bag of whole sunflower seeds. They obviously don't have like anything on them or salt or anything so he seems a little timid right now. He's kind of just been staying like that. I don't, I don't know how long. Hi. So he's not really doing anything at all but as you guys can see 
He's gotten so much better with me actually stroking him and everything. This is what he does sometimes when he's like, I don't even know. He's just kind of not really reacting much, right? Hey, like this? A treat? He does this a lot where he literally just freezes and doesn't move at all, which is a little concerning. So I just kind of want to treat this last clip as kind of my outro and I just want to sum up my thoughts. So pretty much Rhino is not completely tame yet. We are still working on handling and holding him and that will be in the next episode of The Taming Diary. And I really hope you guys watch it that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took me a long time to edit, so I hope that this really helped you guys see how much it's gonna take for you guys to tame your hamster. Of course, every hamster is different and not all of these tips are the same for every hamster. But yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.